What's up? I just want to touch on this whole Chaz, Chaz, whatever, Chop, whatever the fuck they're calling it now. The same with what's going on in D.C. They try taking some shit, like taking the church over, the face did, and try making a camp. Pretty sure they got shut down immediately. But, uh, why is it taking so long to get shut down? Why is it still going on? And why has no one gone in there yet to shut it down? Is a community. Honestly, I think it's because it's optics. No matter who goes in there, it's going to be bad. At least now the public's opening their eyes and saying, dude, like there's a business that's like, I'm out. This city is going so social. There's no leadership. I'm just wondering when everybody else is going to do that as a business. I know it's not easy for everybody just to take off from where they're at and start off somewhere else. But like these people are shooting each other inside this place. They ran out of food, almost stole it. I've already touched on that subject before, but there's a event. Someone made a statement. I'm not going to say the name because now they're kicking people off of YouTube all over the place. But... There was an event being set up, I think it was the 18th, and it was stated, we're on standby, either you fix it or we're coming in. There's already a thousand people signed up. Why did it take till then for that mayor to say, we're shutting it down? I think that was two days ago. Guess what's not shut down? Chaz, chop, whatever you want to say. Call it, or whatever they call it. Like These people are just ridiculous. Why does it take a patriot movement to say, hey, we're coming in? Why is National Guard just not going in there and shut it down? Why are we allowing statues to get tore down? Why are we changing every name of syrup and everything else, even though the family said we liked it? We looked at it as an honor to have whatever aunt and whatever her name is on, on the syrup. Do these people not read history books? Like, I'm, oh man, it's frustrating. And in the meantime, they're tearing, as they're taking, like, changing all the faces, taking people off this crap, or discontinuing their product, like Uncle Ben's or something. Do they realize they're li literally, since everything's so PC, erasing everything that has a black face to it? Every statue. Do they not realize history will repeat itself? Do they realize that everything's getting white faced now? Because they're deleting everything. They're they're just canceling, deleting everything that even has a black face to it. When people from other countries come here and our kids grow up, all they're gonna see is white faces on every single product. Statues, they're gonna be like, Well, this country must have been great. Never had a bad time. Why are these black people so pissed off? Because I don't see anything showing that there was ever a bad time. History books are being rewrote all the time. So, And what they're trying to teach in school now is just getting ridiculous. So, Pretty much they're fucking themselves in the ass. This is great. I mean, it's not great, but it's great. The world's eyes are opening... Patriots in other countries are stepping up protecting statues. We're in a weird era right now. A weird generation. I talked to somebody that's very, very intelligent on the subject. And even he said it, this has been the most confusing time of his whole lifetime, what we're going through. I honestly think, like, oh, right, and then there's even more shit. Everybody probably remembers Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Juicy Smollett Or whatever Chappelle called it Now we got a Bubba Smollett A freaking NASCAR driver is colored Only one I think in the NASCAR circuit Stated that he found a noose and This is after the Confederate flag shit Was this banned from NASCAR uh, Being on the track Anywhere near the track All this other BS And someone flew a fucking plane right over With the Confederate flag And 
I thought it was fucking hilarious. Just like the flag, the plane flew over White Lives Matter or something like that in, I think it was the UK or somewhere. Like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> but he said he found a noose in his, I think it was Talladega, in his garage. FBI just went, because everybody's like, oh my God, no, 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 no. And all these people came out. And a lot of people called a hoax right off the bat. And go figure. FBI went in and investigated and said it's been there since 2019. It's a garage door handle. Like they use it to pull it down. It's a rope that hangs. They pull it down. You find it in all these garages. Oh, man, I'm getting attacked by wasps. This country has lost its fucking mind. It's all conspiracies now. It's all fucking bullshit. We're letting this shit go on for way too long. And all it's doing is pissing off the people. Like It's, it's pissing off people that are everyday citizens that try to go to work. They're trying to do their re- regular lives. They don't have a racist bone in their body, but now, just because they're white, they, if they disagree, they are now considered racist. Ah. <sighs> Do you think she's actually going to shut down Chaz? Nope, I don't. Atlanta's got its own problem right now, too. Like, they're not even letting the cops go in there. A cop was asking, like, what's the description of the shooter? Get out of here. He looked like you. It was a white cop. The black chick that was a cop was like, just get in your car. Just get in the car. Like, it was getting bad. People were, like, pushing him by the back of the head. Half the police force is not even working right now. Like, they're calling off sick. Many zones didn't even have any cops. It was down to like two zones trying to do the whole thing. And then when you have something like a shooting happening, Chaz, uh, where are the cops? Where are the cops? Dude, you fucking ran them off. You made a territory literally a cop-free, anonymous zone. These people are fucking retarded. Give me your opinion. I want to know what's going on. I get private messages, man, because I know that people are afraid to comment because... If this ever gets found, of course, they're going to come after me, delete my crap, dox me. Like, they're doing some, I've seen a lot of posts from Patriots across Seattle and shit where they're getting doxed. These people are savages, they're idiots. They need dealt with, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not telling anybody to go deal with it. I'm just saying. The 18th comes around, I won't be surprised some shit goes down. But, that's just my daily little rant. I'd be doing them every day, but I feel like I'm repeating myself on so much shit. I know more and more people are starting to get on board with me. It's time for us to stand up and actually do something, man. I know it's bad timing, bad optics for anybody that's patriotic in this country, but I'm over it. Like, like, subscribe, whatever you, man, I don't even care. God, this shit pisses me off.